Okay, here's a very brief inf intro into how to use AntConc. And uh, today we're going to show you how to generate a word list, um, but a lemmatized list, and how to upload a lemmatized file. So, first, um, click on, you generally start with uh, concordance over here, but you see there's a number of tabs at the top. Um, here is where we're going to end up, word list. So what you're going to do is go to settings, tool preferences, and what I'm going to want you to do is, uh, on iLearn there's a file for base word list. You're going to load that file once you've downloaded it onto your computer. You can see that's you have to be clicked. You have to have clicked on word list. So it's concordant clusters, collocates, keyword list, and this one here is word list. So that's now loaded, and you see it shows you a preview of all of the word forms that it that will be included in lemmatization. You click OK, and then apply. Right. So now you have a lemma list loaded here. And then all you've got to do is load a corpus file. So load just an example corpus file. And that should be now loaded. You can run concordances and, and so on, as you would with any other corpus tool. But what I want you to focus on is on generating a word list. And now that the lemma list is loaded, you just click on Start. And what you'll see here is the lemmatized frequencies of all of the word families in the corpus that you uploaded. And on the right, and this is the main focal point here, is you get to see the frequencies of each word form. So here you can see that it has limitized ain't, am, are, aren't, be, been, being, beings, for all for the B. But of particular interest is if you scroll down, you might find a few word forms that you think, hmm, I'm not sure that belongs in the word family. So for example, out, and a derived form of that is outside, then outsiders, outa, and outward. And some might think, well, hmm, outsiders is sort of semantically distant from out. I'm not sure that belongs with that, that lemma. Or maybe, or maybe not, or maybe it does. But I'd like you to go down and see if you can find any examples of the lemma word forms that don't seem to really belong closely with the base form on the left. And you can see that if you click on settings again and we go to uh, tool preferences and clear this list. And you do the same word list. You see that since there is no limit list loaded, the frequency list changes. So that might be interesting for you to look at as well. All right, so analyze the limitized forms and come in with your thoughts for next class.